Live. We're live. Hey, Here we go. what's love got to do with it? <laughs> no, I won't be afraid. No, 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 I won't be afraid. Just as long as you stand, stand by me. <laughs> so, darling, darling, stand by me. Oh, stand by me. <laughs> hey, guys. hey guys how are you Woo! oh so i'm getting ready to go out to valentine's dinner with my wife and then we're going to a concert where kira's gonna sing and it's gonna be all love songs and stuff so it's gonna be all mushy it's gonna be like pretty mushy from 5 30 on pretty yeah, mushy mushy pretty mushy today's valentine's yeah. day after and, 30 um, after 33 years of being together jesus i know that's why I said Jesus. Well, I've, I've been 34 years together with myself. By yourself. Yeah, I <laughs> with myself. 34 <laughs> years, guys. I turned 61, and you know the best part of my life is hey, my Hey, welcome to our live. Hey, guys. So today is Valentine's Day, so we wanted to remind you that we love you. We love you. Also wanted to shout out, I've got reservations for two at a restaurant at 8.30 tonight, but so far it's just me, so if anybody wants to come with me, let me know. <laughs> Listen. Valentine's Day is not just oh for married God. couples like so me who've been together for 33 years. It's also for friends and family. Really, I mean, the whole thing about love is it's, it's like, oh, thank you. Hey, Taluka. happy, happy <laughs> Valentine's Day, guys. Taluka. Taluka. Rujana, nice to see you. And happy English. Um, so really, th this is really going to be a short, silly thing to remind you, hey, Olga, to remind you that Valentine's. With it's Valentine's N. Day in with love. Because Valentino. Val San Valentino. Yeah, so yeah, Valentine's. Valentine's. Valentino. Yes. Valentino. That's the... So, thank you. <laughs> so listen, love is all around you. And it can be like a friend like Martino. Sorry. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> That's My a friend love tap. Martino. Boom. I used to love him, but now he's dead. No, you know, my buddy Martino. It's... it's it's this feeling of admiration that you really like this other person, you know, and look at, I know a lot of, I have some friends that are, that are out celebrating. It's, you know, three or four girls are out celebrating. Some guys are out celebrating. Yeah. Well, guys are probably drinking beers going, I'm never going to get a girl. No, but I, I had four, four single friends of mine. They're girls. They're having a girl's night out tonight. Yeah, yeah. Single friends. Don't be depressed because you don't got someone you love right now. Don't worry. Yeah, there's, there's, it's coming. There's love everywhere, There's guys. love everywhere. Love is all around you. Ciao, Tanya. Tanya. The important thing is not you. to be desperate about it and just have fun no <laughs> matter so what, shy. guys. Don't worry. <laughs> Olga, yes, I am a your Olga, Olga's very cool. She plays piano. She's in, yeah, she's in St. Petersburg. She's... She's my again. I have a lot of sisters. You know the reason I. You know the reason I've adopted about ten thousand sisters around the world is because Jim has the biggest family in the world. I have because you can love your family, and that's it's all understood that it's it's pure love. It's pure admiration. Pure, just it's it's there's a pureness to this where you really just respect the other person's space and their passions and their life, and you give more to that person. Literally, love when you love someone, you're you're giving them something to make their life better. Yeah, one funny way I've always measured love is if you had... How much pizza you Yeah, eating? exactly. Oh, yeah. If you have a two-piece of pizza and the one piece is bigger than the other and you give the bigger piece yeah. to the one you yeah. love. If you really love someone, you give them the bigger piece the of pizza. The bigger piece of cake. Yes. It's actually supposed to be cake, but then you said pizza. <laughs> well, pizza's better than cake. Yeah. Yes, give some, and give some love to yourself. Yes, you also... Yes, it's much hey, easier Bala. to love others when you got it. Just... <laughs> She's coming to dinner tonight, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Ken. You got to get on a really fast plane. Like it's I, like five hours. I reserved for two, but we were in 20. <laughs> <laughs> and Tino, Martino could get away with this. 20 girls show up. They go, we're all Martino's like, day whoa. tonight. Oh, man, you could do your own show. Dude. I should. I you thought should. about doing like a podcast. We should do it on here. We should do the Martino show. The single adventures yeah. of Martino. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> So the the point is this is like really look around and 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 I and I know some people get a little angsty a little bit a little bit sad on Valentine's yeah, Day yeah because they don't they don't have a girlfriend or a boyfriend yeah. or yeah <sighs> guys just, come on look at first of all be your own best friend that's number one and then just go out and make friends just go out and start smiling at people 
until someone goes, what are you smiling about? You know, and don't get the antagonistic ones. If they're, what are you smiling about? Okay, skip that guy. We saw a funny reel today. <laughs> How to get, if you're, if you're like looking for your husband and you're just tired of looking, we have advice on how to get married in five seconds. <laughs> how to get married in five seconds. You have to, you have to write on a piece of paper, which you, first of all, you have to have the minister ready, right? Yeah, you gotta have the minister ready. You gotta have the minister ready. ready. You gotta have a minister ready. You gotta be kind of dressed up and you go up to some, just some girl and just, it's just have it, just have her hand the piece of paper. Yeah, hand says, this piece of paper. You write on a piece of paper, you write this. Yeah, so you write, I do. I do. Is it backwards? Yeah, and, I and, do. And you say, here, just can you read this out loud for me? And the girl goes, okay. And she goes, I do. He goes, okay, all married. right, we're married. <laughs> and then the priest stands up with a sign that says, just married. <laughs> just married. <laughs> so, you can you know, you can't get married in five seconds. Yeah, you can get married I mean, in five seconds with anybody on the street, as long as they know how to read English. You know, I have friends. It's funny. I, I've been, you know, going around the world probably about t 12 years or something like that. Mm. You? Yeah, yeah same about, thing. About 15 same, years. Yeah. 15 years. I mean, he's younger than me, but he started earlier to get to go around the world. Yeah. But, you know, I the number one thing I was asked, Jim, and by guys and girls, it's, if it's a girl, Jim, can you please help me get a husband? And if it's a guy, Jim. Can you please help me find a good wife? And I'm like, wow, that's the number one question. Wow. Now, even more than how do I be a millionaire? It's like, how can I find someone? I said, so well, people want love more than money. Wow. I mean, I've had people tell me, I don't want to be a millionaire. I just want to be happy. You yeah, don't have yeah. to be a millionaire to be happy. You can literally be, you know, anybody and be happy. But the truth is the happiness has got to come. You create the happiness right here in your own heart. And, and if you keep looking for the best in other people, because the other thing I find out, sometimes the person you're looking for is right here. Well, not literally. Not, not right literally. Here. Not, 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 guys, not, not literally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> don't, don't leave me hanging. So, I mean, but literally the person you're looking for is could be like literally. In front of your eyes. Around you. All the you. time. Yeah, you know, and it's it, all the time. <laughs> it's not Martino. No. I mean, for me, it's not Martino. No. It's Fume for me. And I just posted a beautiful tribute to my wife with pictures going back, I don't know, 20 years. Very emotional. Very and cool. Very beautiful pictures of our boys when they were little and stuff. So anyway, I hope, honey, I hope you really like this. It's been hours. It's been hours. And Martino had to do the magic. Yeah, yeah, I spent yeah, hours finding it. all the pictures that, that reminded me of all the best times we had. And um, love is in the air. Yeah. What is that? Did you? Get, is it another song? I just came to my head. No, oh, love is in the love air. Is in the air. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's Valentine's so, Day, so we wanted to let you know that whether or not you have a Valentine's, we love you. We love you. So we'll be your Valentine's. Yay! So, thank, thank you, you Paula. Jen. And really, the, the the whole point is just to just to reinvigorate you. To to go look. Hey, for the Monique. Best. Monique. What's oh, up? Monique. Where's Monique at? She should be in Canada, but she's South African. So a South African in Canada. It's, yeah. Beautiful. You know, if girl. you go back and Beautiful forth girl. between those two countries, you can always have the best weather. Yeah. Because winter. Oh, no, it's not really true. Yeah. I think they're upside down. Yeah, yeah, because they're upside yeah, down. Yeah. yeah, they're upside down. Yeah. So you can actually have two summers. Just go back and forth between Canada and South Africa. You boom, you're love. Unless you like snow. Then you could go to the cold part of Africa. Yeah, no, whatever. So find the best things in others. And keep noticing the best things in others until you build up a lot of happiness all around you. And trust me, if you do this for some strange reason, you know, like I never It'll come back. I never worry. I go, oh, am I happy today? I look around and I find something good about somebody and I just go notice it. I say it. I point it out to them and I go, you know, you're pretty amazing. And they go, really? Yeah. Or they go, yeah, I know I am. I go, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's my response. You're amazing. I know. I know. I know. I never have to tell him he's amazing. He just knows he's amazing. But no, I do tell you you're amazing. Yeah, but I read this other thing. It was like, if you can love yourself, then yep. you can be loved. There's something like that. Right. If you can love yourself, like, you can be loved. Love yourself first, then, of course, love others. But 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 then it'll it'll come around or but, something like that. But truthfully, if you love and respect yourself enough to go look around and really pump other people up, because sometimes I think people spread bad news because they feel bad. So they tell bad news to other people so they, they're not the only ones feeling bad. The truth is, if you just went around and found all the good news around people and, and noticed it and commented on it and said, hey, look, you know what? That other thing you did the other day, I really appreciate. I appreciate what you did for me. And they're like, 
I didn't do that much. I said, well, I made a difference in my life. And they're like, I got an idea. I got an idea. Look at he said. I've got an idea. Okay, it's here's rapture. what we're going to do. We're going to like, poop. So Jim's been together for 32, 33 years with his wife. So that's like ideal. Married a little bit less, but you know. I have been together for zero days with anybody. So that's like the opposite <laughs> side of the spectrum. So we, we are, have two <laughs> viewpoints. Here. Yeah, right. two, two viewpoints. So two. we're going to give you advice now. So Jim, what would be like one thing that you could give advice about? Like say like, you know, if you love someone, here's how you can make it last and like, you know, just have a good time together. Well, the most important thing to make it last is really keep communicating, you know, because being married for 30 years, there was times where it was tough on, on, on us, right? Because okay. of life and different things. And, and nobody's perfect. So if you're looking for the perfect, if you're looking for a Disney magic, you know, if you're looking for a Disney movie to be your life, then that's, that doesn't exist. It, you ha you actually go through life together. And the thing is, the more you be a team and the more you communicate to each other, even the rough stuff, you will survive all that and you keep getting stronger. Like my wife and I are tighter today than we've ever been. And I mean, since the first time I went, oh my God, it's a beautiful Hawaiian goddess just walked into my course room. Since Which we talked point, about in a couple yeah, lives ago, form. if you want to go look but, at that. But, you know, the fact that we have survived life together and our boys are now grown up. I mean, almost, my 17 year old is almost 18. My 22 year old, you know, he, he does call his mom cause he's a smart kid. <laughs> <laughs> mom, I need money. <laughs> and he's not married yet. So Woo, another single person. <laughs> oh God, go single... get him. <laughs> <laughs> 22 years old. Yeah. Time to change. So, <clears throat> but you know, it is, real life and there's times that we just had to communicate some tough things but we we just keep holding hands and we go look we're together and because we keep going through obstacles in life together we get stronger and stronger and stronger and i would say that today wow after 33 years you know i love my wife more today probably than i did 30 years ago wow but i know every i mean we know every wart you know there's a say like sometimes you know you gotta when you get married it's not just that beautiful girl with makeup on and the perfect dress at dinner. It's the person you wake up to next in bed. And you both have, you know, maybe not the best breath. And you have to look at each other without makeup on it and go, yeah, I still like you. You're awesome. You know? And you, but again, you can focus on the negative and find negative everywhere. Or you can focus on the positive and find positive everywhere. And nobody's perfect. And some people are meaner than others and some people are nicer than others. So just but keep pointing out the best things in people. And I swear to you, you will have fun. And what's your advice? Oh, well, okay. So from a single guy. <laughs> <laughs> what's your advice on how to find someone at least? Well, what's your advice what on how to do. find someone here's to start what, with? Here's what I, this is very much like, actually, like, this is what I would say is, number one, don't let an old relationship affect a new one. Yeah. So like Important. a lot of girls will be like, you know, I was with this other guy and he broke my heart and now I'm cautious. But that's not fair because the new guy might be amazing and the old guy was bad, but you're you're using the old guy's experience to, to judge the new guy. So don't like just let go of your old relationships. Pretend don't talk that, like, about just, them. For, don't talk like, about Just forget them. about yeah. them because the person you're seeing today is not the same person. And then the other thing is I would say is like don't compromise because like a lot of people are so desperate to find a relationship that they find someone finally that they connect with and they see things that are not quite right or that, that doesn't quite fit for them. But they think, well, maybe I can change that or or maybe it'll be OK. And they compromise and then they get into a relationship don't and compromise. then it, it starts to because like Jim said, like. When you start a relationship, you start seeing things and experiencing yeah. things that aren't there at the first dinner date. Yeah. And so if you see like red flags right away, you're going to wind up in a relationship that you uh, don't like. And then last but not least, if you are in a relationship and it's not going well, it's toxic or you argue or you don't seem to don't don't try and just drag it on forever. Call it a day. Yeah. Find a new one. You deserve better. So those That's are what my I did. My first wife advices. was five years and we were like. Who are you? Get out of my house. I'll drop my phone number yeah. into the chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, one more important thing here. One more important thing, because you just said something important. Because okay, sometimes, okay, okay, okay. sometimes people have a bad relationship, they're very toxic, and they go, well, this is better than nothing. No, 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 no. No, no, no a toxic, it's not. First of all, r remember, 20% of the people are negative all the time, and or, or apparently positive, but really, every time you leave them, you feel worse. 
So if you keep, if you're in a toxic relationship and it's not going well for you, and you've been honest with yourself, and you're, you, you got to, no relationship is better than a really bad relationship. That's the truth. Yeah. People think a bad relationship is better than no relationship. Because they got someone. That's not true. No. It's not true. And 20% of the people out. out there are Get miserable out. and they want to make other people miserable. So if you ended up hooking up with a person whose job in life is to make other people miserable, get out as fast as you can. You know, because if I'd have stayed with my first wife, I'd be miserable today. I would not hey, be Daria. doing lives. Hey, guys. So <clears throat> my, my purpose in life is to make as many people happy as I can, knowing that I can't, I don't think I'll exceed 80%. Right. I, I don't know if I can have an effect on the 20% that want to be miserable forever. I'm just trying to save the 80% that might just trying to help you come guys. across the 20% yes. and go, oh, I'm not that good looking. I'm not that funny. I'm not that smart. I'm like, knock that shit up. Do not, do not, do not no, you are say all bad things about beautiful. yourself. You're all beautiful. You're all amazing. You're beautiful. You're amazing. You're there wonderful. You are someone, funny. You will run into someone who's perfect for you. Don't And who will see you and see your good things will see the best in you. So you're looking for someone, and this takes two people, have to see the best in each other and constantly talk about the best in each other. Because when times get tough, you can always find things wrong. Yeah. Trust me, I am not perfect. And my wife knows this. <laughs> you know, and so, but you know what? She loves me in spite of the, the few bumps and warts I have. Because I'm mostly good. Yeah, and, and the so, compatibility. My wife is almost be, perfect. My wife, I gotta admit, it, my wife is almost perfect. The this compatibility has to be her. so good yeah. that someone's mistakes don't bother you. That's right. They, it's almost like imperfections is why you like them because nobody's perfect. So you go like, oh, he farts in his sleep. That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> my wife hates that. Just so you know. <laughs> Too much information. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But, no, but, but there was something you said was really good that, that, <clears throat> that you know. The mistakes, like like someone's errors are actually yeah, are okay. what makes them unique. But also everybody has different qualities. Like I love to go out and talk in public. <laughs> well, my wife sure hates it. But my wife is really analytical and detail oriented. And I'm like, and I hate that. So I'm not detail oriented. I, you know, I'm a nuclear engineer who's not detail oriented. Good thing I'm not doing nuclear engineering. <laughs> good thing you didn't build a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> So my wife and I fit like fingers in a glove, though, because our, our differences match up to...